don't you feel at some point that you have a responsibility to voters to be to recognize the fact that they're not voting for you? I know you keep saying, and I'm listening to you saying, well, people are jumping on your bandwagon. Mm. Well, what if they don't jump on your bandwagon? Is are, are you just going to be comfortable going into a convention? Uh, it looks like it's going to be chaotic and really a problem, and you're going to be comfortable. Who told you that? The media? <laughs> they haven't been right about one single thing they've said since this election's been going. Anyway, look, let me, let me no, answer the I'm question. Watch, I'm watching primary. Yeah. I'm watching primary results. Yeah. And I will tell you, I was very interested in your campaign from day one. You're not new to this. And it just hasn't resonated. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I mean, who told you, you know, that, that you're all that popular now when the vote? We're looking at the New York polls. And your vote is really not where it needs okay. to be. And at some point, are you going to recognize that? Because I do think that there is some responsibility to democracy. Let me, yeah. Let me tell you what the responsibility is. The responsibility is to run for an office and give people solutions and lift them. The responsibility is not to talk about dividing people, gnashing teeth, turning them against one another. I will not participate in that. Okay, sir? Now. Now let me tell you this, if I don't win, I'll be a gentleman. I'm not going to say that my people are going to walk out. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say any of the things that I've heard said either by him or by other people. You see, it's important that people hear the message that they matter, that they have a God-given purpose, that they need to solve problems in their neighborhoods. You know, come to the town halls and see what happens there. You know, it's important. It is important for people to hear a different message than a message of negativity. I want to give them a message of hope. And you know what? We're in New York, and there was this guy. He once said one time, it ain't over till it's over. And his name happened to be Yogi Berra. But thank you. Okay, thank you. I think you made your point. I just want to tell you, I really appreciate the way you're approaching this. However, we also need to look at the vote. And okay. that's, so thank you for God your God bless you. I appreciate you. See you in Cleveland. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.